wanted your child to learn how to fly a plane, you wouldn't take them to the airport. You'd take them to a class. With basketball, we do it the exact opposite. We put them in games before we ever teach them how to play basketball. Why would I put my kid on a team when he can't dribble, pass, or shoot? Now he's in survival mode the whole time and developing bad habits. So as I started to study more and read more, it was like I built my philosophy around kind of the European model, where they're like, we'll put you in an academy, but you won't even play a game until sixth grade. So these guys are playing one-on-one, two-on-two, three-on-three, and learning basketball. They're getting strength and conditioning, they're getting individual skill development, and they're learning the sport. And that's kind of what Kobe was alluding to, is like, no, these European guys can play. The rest of these guys are just, they're AAU products. And he went off about that. So now we have to send LeBron over there. Now we have to send Kobe over there, and D. Wade, and all these top guys. And we're barely beating some of these teams. So it's like, okay, well, to me, that makes more sense. I tell parents, your split should be 80-20 in those first three years. 80% skill development, 20% games. And in that way, as long as I know how to do all this stuff, I can get in the game and I can function. Because that's what you want as functional basketball players.